Hello, seventh graders. It is time to wrap up our unit about forces and motion. Instead of a multiple choice test, we are going to have you do a virtual lab practical. In a lab practical, it is a test where you do a lab as an assessment. Every quarter, we emphasize different lab skills. This quarter, we've emphasized things like data collection and analysis. This includes organizing your data in a data table, calculating averages for the trials, calculating speed, and figuring out what the data is showing you. For this lab, Mr. Bingman is going to be your virtual lab partner. Your job is to record the data in a data table that's in a Google Doc. You can find this in Schoology. And you are also going to answer some analysis questions about the data in Schoology as well. We look forward to having you show us what you have learned. All right, our lab practical is really very simple. It's a very similar lab to one we've done earlier in the unit. We have our pile of pens tied to a string. We're going to push off our desk, and that's going to pull an aluminum foil sled with some coins in it. Okay. The difference is, though, this time, one, we're taking this as a test. So you need to be able to do this without any help, and you need to be able to do it on your own. Second, I'm going to actually be conducting the experiment with my equipment. Here. That way we can guarantee everybody got the, the results they were expecting. And the third is that our experiment is going to have to do with changing the surface that we're doing this on. So that instead of doing it just on the smooth desk, we're going to change it so that we're doing that on sandpaper and on regular paper towels as our surface. Um, and keeping the same number of coins and the same number of pens in the pens and the, and the coins in the sled. Just like before, we push the pens off the desk, that pulls the sled, and we stop the time when the sled stops. You're going to be collecting your data by watching the video, and then you're going to put that data into a data table on the lab document. You're going to average that data together. You're going to use that data to calculate the speed of the sled, and then finally, you're going to need to go into the quiz portion of the test and answer some very specific questions about what you're seeing happen uh, with the sled and the pens. Okay? So, start by watching the video, write your data down in the data tables on the lab sheet, do the math to, to, to figure out what that data means, and then answer some questions about it. Now that you are done collecting the data for this lab, you can access that data in your Google Doc and use that to answer the questions that are in Schoology. Make sure you refer back to your data as you do this.